Hey everybody, Spring Attack 240 here, and um, take two. I uh, was doing the video a couple days ago, ran out of memory. So, anyways, take two on this. Um, ran out of memory in the camera. I thought I was on a roll. So, anyways, uh, so we're doing it this time. Going to talk about my uh, show design from American DJ. Um, so this is the original. I hinted it uh, in an earlier video of my live rack rig with DMX LSC control. So uh, <clears throat> so I've got my um, American DJ show design um, all hooked up. And I was talking about using the kick drum for the triggers. So um, I've got my little drum pad here. I've used it for uh, for a uh, sound effects track uh, for worship team uh, at a church. Uh, we no longer it's a Bible study, dinner, music. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, and I had a uh, effect on here. I, I can bring it up later. I just have it on some drum, um, drum pads for right now. And so I was talking about using it uh, for setting it up for uh, using it as a kick drum to trigger the lights. Now I have my uh, controller uh, set to chase. I have a set chase for three and four, and then I have it in, uh, of course, chase, and then I have it in audio uh, trigger. So what that does is it allows me to uh, trigger the uh, lights just by hitting the um, drum pad here. Now I have it uh, hooked to my soundboard uh, on the install, and I have a looped um, port on that. That means it's uh, when you plug something into install, you interrupt the um, the channel inputs and outputs, so you can put effects processors, what have you, on there, and whatever your heart desires for mixing and stuff like that. So um, with that, then so uh, that's how I hook into for the kick drum when I've got. Uh, uh, when I'm doing live sound and stuff like that, so I always look for the kick drum and uh, put the mic right there. Every time that kick drum hits, the lights will trigger for every um, sequence of the um, drum kick. So, uh, so we'll just go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and uh, tap the pad. Let's bump that up a little bit. It's not quite hidden. I'll bump this up a little bit too. That might help. So that's about it. Let me go ahead and mute the uh, the channels that are assigned to this. Um, so <clears throat> this is a really nice um, light board that I use. And I use it for a lot of different things. I've used it for... Um, different types of shows that someone hired me to do. And so it's really a nice board. It's one of the easiest light boards I've ever used. Now, there are some other systems that use USB to control the DMX. I personally don't like this because I can't live sync um, off a kick drum or some type of percussion instrument. So... <sighs> So that's why I don't use those. Uh, a couple of people ask me, well, why don't you use uh, my DMX? Or why don't you use uh, DMX Master or something like that? No, I use this. It is, a go f it is my go-to controller. Uh, something like that. Uh, I've done a modification to it. I dropped the resistor in here that uh, plugs into the audio trigger from a 33 uh, kilo ohm down to a 3.3 kilo ohm. And the reason I did that is so it can hit more. Um, so that makes it a lot easier to hit. I just had to change one little bit of a setting on the board and, and bump up the uh, trigger. And it was perfect. So <laughs> um, so that's in the nutshell there. And uh, let me float the camera a little bit closer. And hopefully I don't lose my connections. Um and uh, so <clears throat> we got chords all over the place to do videos. 
Uh, this is not, not my normal setup, so this is the uh, board I'm using right now, and uh, that um, is what I use to do this part of the video, uh, so that I can plug in stuff, because my other board that I normally use does not have an install, so so we'll get a little bit closer here, I'm trying to get myself lined up on the screen here. So this is uh, your fixtures, your color, your beam. Uh, chase scene show that's all done off of this keypad uh, the faders here they do uh, set your lights your um, fixtures that have pan tilt uh, global color wheel and then over here make sure I get myself lined up here um, you can record um, blackout beat sync audio trigger is what I'm on right now I'll just go ahead and silence that and as soon as you did that, I did that, it goes into chase pattern. So, so we'll just go ahead and kill the chase. Um, so we got um, fine data, speed, uh, and pan tilt, menu, addition, erase, enter. So th this whole board has got a ton of features in uh, this unit here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that too well. That that's the version I have right now. That's uh, two uh, point fourteen M three. That's the last uh, library uh, that was produced for the controller. And the reason why is because they went to USB uh, type configurations, and with that. <laughs> Um, this is an RS-232, so they were no longer supporting RS-232 because most of your computers are now all USB, USB 3, USB-C. Uh, so, so basically, um, they gave a dead battery to, to the RS-232. So, anybody want to drop? So that's pretty much it. Um, um, but I can modify a fixture that is not in my library. And, and that, if you're interested f for me to go through that with you, uh, drop me a line in the comments section. And uh, if I get enough comments about that, um, I will go through the process of adding uh, a fixture that is not in the library. Um, this version. Uh, of this setup, and I don't know if it's still findable or not. Uh, does as far as I know, it does not have any LED fixtures in its library. Um, if someone has that version and has a map of it, uh, let me know. I would like to hear from you uh, because um, it. I think after this version, the LEDs started coming in, and they just kind of skipped over because I think they went to the DMX, uh, the Show Design 2, and Show Design Q, and I think there was one or two more after that, and um, and then they just stopped doing any updates for uh, this particular one. Uh, I do believe inertia lighting took over the LLC, the LSC uh, controllers, like the microcontroller here. And uh, when they did, they did a, a really nice uh, software platform to make it easy to update this. Um, when I first got this, it had a little glitch. And uh, American DJ and their technicians were graciously to go through to find out what the problem was. Um, one of them, the memory battery was it was just was flatline, so it wouldn't do anything. So um, American DJ, if you come across the video, thank you for all all that work of several years ago. It's been close to 20 years since I've had this, so I've had this for a spell. <laughs> so um, it's been um, uh, a reliable controller uh, I have replaced the memory ba battery in here um, so I think I've got another let's see I think I have a cheat little scratch in here yeah so I've got another mm, six more years before that battery goes dead uh, or stuff like that but um, 
So anyways, yeah. So uh so every 10 years or so you got to put a new fresh battery in. Um fortunately, I do have a computer that is RS232 so I can reload the uh, information on there. Uh I did find a little trick though. Plug it in, power it up, then change the battery. You won't you won't wipe out your <laughs> your, your show settings. Um <clears throat> so uh so I did find that a little trick. Um thanks to uh someone I know as an engineer. Uh so uh but like I said, if you want to know more about this controller, um and you may have one and you don't know how to do certain things, uh go ahead and drop me a line and um let me know what you need to uh, know about it. I pretty much have this thing mastered. Uh so uh, they do have another device they teamed up with it. It's a floppy drive uh, data backup system. I should have bought that when it was available. Um, it's hard to find uh, if if they're still around. Um, but yeah, I've have no no um, bad bad information on this or bad results on this, um, other than the resistor being too high for running it off a soundboard. I think what they did with a 33 ohm, excuse me, a 33 kilo ohm resistor is to where you can blow, run it off a headphone port. And I think that's why they did it that way. Because um, line voltage and headphone uh, voltage is totally different. Um, um, your microphone port, like my mic is on my headset, it's like maybe tops uh 30 40 millivolts um no more brighter than your average phonograph uh so that's how low your mic is so that's why it needs all kinds of preamps um your line voltage your line voltage usually to if i was to put a line signal on my mic port, I would probably put a 3.3 kilo ohm resistor in series with that to bring the uh, line voltage down to mic level. And uh, that's uh, what it is. But, but the headphones, it has a lot more voltage output. And, um, and that way, is so it can drive the speakers in your headphones. So it needs the voltage. People say, oh, watts and stuff like that. Actually, it's voltage it makes the coil around watts is just the maximum power it it can put out uh, so there is a little bit of misconception there i've been doing this for many years so uh um <clears throat> so I, like i said i have it hooked up to my behringer uh little small board here i've used this for small venues uh and stuff like that i have a Another soundboard that's 24 channels. I use that for my live, big live stuff that I do here and there, and so like that. And so that's why I'm rewiring this configuration and getting it set up for other venues. Uh, checking out some old equipment that's not being used anymore. Um, I found some better processors where I can actually modify a lot easier with my computer. So uh, that's what I'm doing with that, and also building a new plate and. So, <clears throat> and this is what I'm also doing with this project here, is um, building this back panel here to where I can just plug everything in. I got dual mono output for someone that wants to do video uh, recording. I've uh, got to get another connector for this. This is for my XY and my RTA. Uh, that's my real-time analyzer. XY is two microphones. I'm going to do that all on one cable. And then... Uh, my in and outs for um, uh, different things that I need on the soundboard, um, different uh, in and outs for uh, effects processors are going to be on this connector. So, yeah, I'm divvying it all up, and here's the back side of this. <laughs> so, this is the nice thing about being a master cabler, I can build my own cables, I can build my own panels. I don't have to hire anybody. So if you're interested in what I do in the background other than my pyrotechnic stuff that I'm doing, uh, just go ahead and drop me a line. And with that, I'm going to get right on out of here so you can surf your favorite uh, other YouTube channels with that. So I'm hoping 
that you're joining out here in the YouTube land. Anyways, um, so with my normal spew, uh, please uh, use your pyrotechnic devices irresponsibly. In 2018, there were 16 fatalities. Uh, with that, don't text and drive. Don't hold your cell phone around thinking it's legal. It's not. It's got to be t either mounted on the dash or in Bluetooth mode. Um, here in the 33rd state, you caught three times doing that. It's a possible jail sentence. And then finally, speaking of jail sentence, don't drink and drive. Uh, fines can be excessive $10,000, uh, loss of license, prison sentence. Oops, there goes your life. Uh, so, yeah, don't do uh, any of that. Just, you know, keep it legal beagle, you know. That way, you know, the less that, I guess you could say it'll help keep your insurance rate lower. So, uh, so, uh, anyways, and another thing also hit that subscribe button. Um, that way I, uh, and go in public mode. If you hit subscribe, subscribe, um, in public mode, I'll go and check your channel out. And if it's cool, I might subscribe to your, your channel or I may just talk about your channel. Uh, so that, so I go, I do go through all the people that are in public mode on my channel and check out their what they're doing on their channels. There's some really cool stuff. Um, with that, uh, you can share your uh, my videos on um, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, or whatever the social media is. Uh, you can go ahead and do do that. Um, if you want to talk about it on the blog, let me know if you do have a blog. Uh, I like to hear from what your blog's about, too. So I know some people end up doing that. So, uh, yeah, please do that. And let me know what your blog's about. Uh, is it about sound? Is it about pyrotechnics? Uh, so, you know, you know, let's have some fun with it. <laughs> so, anyways, um, thank you for joining me. And thank you for viewing all my videos. Um, be, you know, check out my links. And and uh, have a great time on my channel. I'm Sprack Attack 248 You're on the Sprack Attack 248 YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. And so long.